Hey, Brickmaster here. Uh, this is a long overdue video of all my Green Lantern customs. Uh, all of them, literally every single custom I've made. It's over a hundred Lego figures. Uh, every custom Green Lantern I've ever made since my first one to my last one. Um, uh, I just wanted to do this review, but this review is mainly for uh, my fans out there. Uh, all those people who have been subscribed to me for a long time, people like Devin Walker, uh, one of my favorite fans, uh, I thank you to all those who have been subscribed and letting you know, whoever subscribes to me, I always subscribe back, just so, uh, you kind of both subscribe, um, so please do subscribe and leave comments, guys, it really does help, give me ideas, because <laughs> I run out of ideas, uh, what I mainly want to make this video out to is a lot of you know about my Green Lantern set that I made a while ago, and actually some of it is in here. Actually, all of it is in here. Uh, I'll show you later. Um, my Green Lantern set is on eBay, people. Uh, it is extremely expensive, though. It's like a hundred bucks, mainly because it just costs that much to make, and I would like to sell it for cheaper, but I just can't. Uh, uh, but I'm not here just to talk about that. I'm talking about, uh, I'm going to be selling each one of these figures on eBay now. Every single one. Uh, I'm going to remake them and sell them. Uh, I'm letting you know so you can get a head start and start bidding and stuff. And I'll be selling rings and power batteries separately. But I wanted to let you know that I'm, uh, making all of these again and selling them again. Uh, so this will be the first time I've ever sold Green Lantern figures. Uh, but here's a little, uh, event for you. The first five people to leave comments will get a figure of their choice made and a review of that figure, a special shout-out to them in that video, and a review on how to make the figure, and the figure will be posted on eBay. That's for the first five people who comment. Uh... For the first 15 people who comment, uh, I will take a suggestion of a figure that can be made, and I'll give you a shout out in that video, but I won't guarantee that it will be sold on eBay, or that it will, uh, be, have a review made of it. But, um, so these are all of my figures, new and old, uh, from first figure to the last figure. Some of these have been reviewed, some of these haven't. Like, uh, some of these are new to you, like, uh, you've never seen that Yellow Lantern before, or Simon Baz before, or you've never seen the White Lantern Green Arrow, or the new, uh, Saint Walker, um, or the, uh, Black Lantern, Aquaman, Ion, stuff like that. Some of these have been reviewed, some of these haven't. This is a little setup of all of them I've ever made. Uh, so I hope you like it, uh, uh, mainly just to let you know that all this stuff is going to be viable, even people like Dex Dexter, who's just a cat, uh, just letting you know that all of these are viable at this point, and, uh, the comment, a uh, little game thing, first 5 or 15 people to comment, and get the prizes, uh, I really hope you like or subscribe, it really does help, leave comments with ideas you want seen done, it's very helpful. I really do appreciate all the fan base and all the people who stick stuck with me. Uh, I'm gonna quickly review all the power batteries I'm going to sell because uh, I'm gonna sell figures and rings and power batteries separately, uh, unless there's like a package deal or something. But so quickly, uh, the Red Lantern power battery, the original Red Lantern power battery I first made, it has appeared in a few reviews. Uh, it has a cool little handlebar, it is spray painted, and as you notice it has the lightsaber piece in the middle so that when the shine, the sun shines behind it, it looks like it's, uh, uh, glowing. When I sell these, I will not be selling them with light, uh, lightsaber pieces inside them. That is something, uh, I just don't have enough pieces to do. As you see, this bottom makes it impossible for it to stand up on its own, but that's why I remade it and made this one with the flat bottom uh, so you could stand it up. Uh, it has the handlebars once again spray painted and it's pretty sturdy. Uh, and as you can see no lightsaber piece is in it. Uh, 
Oh, and I just wanted to let you know, guys, there's a few background sounds. I'm sorry about that. It's just uh, unstoppable. There will be background sounds in this video constantly. Uh, I'm trying to muffle it as much as I can, but if you hear it, just try to ignore it. And as you can see, the orange lantern power battery is where it always is in Lar Larfleece's hand. He's wrestling it from uh, Orange Lantern Lex Luthor. And Larfleece is one of my favorite lanterns I've ever made. As you can see, his ring is decaled, his uh, arm is decaled, which I had never done before on any other figure. And I think Larfleece is my favorite figure I've ever made. I'm so proud of that figure. I love it so much. I, uh, it's my favorite figure. And then there's the Yellow Lantern power battery. This is one of the first power batteries I made, so it's all splotchy and stuff, as you can see. I also have a lightsaber piece in the middle, and yes, it's a yellow lantern, yellow lightsaber piece, for those of you who are wondering. Very rare and hard to find. Once again, another reason why I won't be putting the lightsaber pieces inside. But don't worry, the ones you guys will get won't be splotchy. There'll be remakes like this one, where they're not splotchy, and they're just nice and smooth, and shiny, and stand up nice. And I quickly want to show you something I made, I don't think I ever reviewed it. It's our Kilos power battery. It's really big, uh, about almost half the size of a minifigure, maybe a little more. I don't think it's that cool. I just made it in like five seconds. Just wanted to quickly show you. Uh, and then here's the Green Lantern power battery. Uh, it's just magnificent. I love this power battery. It's like a matte kind of look to it. And that lightsaber piece in the middle is so cool. I think with this one, I will put the lightsaber piece in the middle when I sell it. So you can look for that. Uh, blue Lantern Power Battery is one of my favorite power batteries. I just love that shade of blue. It looks really cool. There's the lightsaber piece in the middle. But once again, the lightsaber piece probably won't be sold with these, with these power batteries. Now the purple, as we all know, is the staff kind of power battery. I did have the lightsaber piece in there, and I kind of made this like clay mold thing so it kind of stays on the staff. I really love that power battery, and I will sell the staff with the ring and stuff, um, uh, but I'm not going to have the lightsaber piece in there. The old version of the staff is this one. I do not like it nearly as much as I like this staff. But I also will be selling the power battery with the... Uh, staff power battery version, so you have both versions. Then there's the pink lantern power battery, same as the mole, it's a pink lightsaber piece in there. I won't be selling this with the lightsaber piece, but I will sell the power battery. Then there's the black lantern power battery, and yes, this is a special edition black lightsaber piece inside it, which is really cool and really hard to find. But I will not be selling this with the lightsaber piece. It will be without the lightsaber piece. But it is one of the coolest. And then my all-time favorite power battery. The white lantern power battery. And that is a white lightsaber piece in there. Once again, I won't be selling it with the lightsaber piece. This is the only one that has a handlebar. When I sell it, I probably won't sell it with a handlebar. And that's pretty much it for the power batteries. Now I'm going to review the rings one by one. Uh, hold on one second. Just gotta... Sorry, that must have been so disorienting. Uh, sorry about that. Um, I uh, just needed to fix something real quick. Um, here, one second. Uh, there's... No, better. Um, just my stand is kind of getting in the way here. Sorry about this. A uh, little malfunction. Um... But, as you can see, in this review, there is everything I've ever made, including the entities, which I have never shown you. Uh, uh so yes, I'm just stuff is falling apart. Um, and that is Lomulus right there, and there's the entity, the butcher, and there's the sign cell, the door's open, and that's the Rin Natu on the top, and I don't remember that Red Lantern's name. But now I'm going to show you the ring. So first is the Red Lantern Ring, Atrocitus is holding it. Uh, this is one of my original rings, uh, and as you can tell it's paper for the symbol on the front, and that's how you can tell it's my original Red Lantern Ring, because now I decal my rings. 
This is a remake of the Orange Lantern Ring, as you can see, it's decal, so you can tell. Uh, and then my Yellow Lantern Ring is in Sinestro's hand. Let me just pick up Sinestro so I can show you. This is the first ring I ever made, and so it's a lot sloppier than the rest, but I'm nonetheless proud of it. It is paper on the front, and that's what the ring looks like. Don't worry, the ones you will be getting are remakes, so they'll be much better. And then, as you can see, how Jordan is holding a uh, Green Lantern ring. And uh, it's really cool. I love that ring. It's awesome. Uh, I love that emerald that I have on it. Uh, I don't have that paint anymore, so I use, like, this dark green. But that emerald is so cool. I wish I still had it. I'm definitely keeping that ring. I'll never sell that ring. Uh, but it is one of my favorites. And then the blue lantern ring is right there. Uh, Saint Walker is holding it. My old version of Saint Walker compared to the new Saint Walker. Uh, and uh, I love the blue ring. That one is not decaled yet because I just made it a while ago. So I will decal that soon. And then there's the original indigo ring. Uh, I have paper on that because that was before the time of decaling. Uh, so... Yeah, and then my least favorite ring is the pink one, because it's a horrible shade of pink, and it's paper, and it was the first pink I made. Don't worry, yours will not be like that, uh, uh, so I'll make it better. And then I have the Black Lantern ring, which is in uh, Black Hand's hand. Uh, it's decaled, it's pretty cool, it's in matte black, I mean a shiny black. Let me see if I can... Get a better view of it. Hmm. I can't seem to get it. Uh, anyway, it's decaled and it looks cool. Uh, you can check out other reviews to look at the ring better. And as you guys all remember, the White Lantern Batman, one of my favorite figures I've ever made. And some of your favorites too. Uh, as you can see, it's all shimmery. My best decal job I've ever done. And then his ring is really cool. That's the White Lantern ring. And uh, those are that's it for the rings and power batteries. Uh, so I'm going to do a quick panorama of all of this. But before I do, I'm going to show you the uh, entities that I never reviewed. I don't know why I didn't. I just never got around to it. Uh, so you all saw the butcher a bit. Uh, the Butcher is supposed to be like a bull kind of thing. I know, the Butcher looks really bad. Uh, I made him quickly one day, just wanted to show you. I never really finished him. I just kind of quickly made him. Then we have Orange Lantern Entity, Orphidina the Tempter. He's kind of a snake type thing. And I thought he came out really cool. I built him and then spray painted him. He's got the glowing eyes. I think he's really cool. Uh, I don't think I'll be selling the entities just because I don't think there's many people who buy them. Although you can ask for them. And then this is the Parallax. Obviously it's not the best. I just quickly made it one day. And there's the uh, uh, Blue Lantern entity. It, it kind of looks like an eagle thing. But I don't remember what it's called. So I'm sorry about that. Um, oh, and there's the old Green Lantern power battery that I didn't have. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do a quick panorama of this set, kind of setup thing of all the figures, like, uh, all the Red Lanterns, all the Orange Lanterns, Yellow, Green, Blue, Purple, Pink, Black, and White. So I'm gonna be quiet for a second here and show you all the old guys, and then I'll come back and do a little description on them. So here we go.